I play it back when it's over The back when, back when it's over Back when it's over I want back when it's over Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you around some of my favorite spots in LA. My younger sister and younger brother were in town visiting me last week, so I was taking them to all my favorite spots. I figured I'd record it, share it with you all, so next time you visit, have a list of places that you should check out and in addition to that I'm going to be throwing in my favorite pros and cons about living in LA just because I figured that make it a little bit easier to digest. If you're new here my name is Marcella I'm a software engineer based in Los Angeles California. I'm actually home visiting my family in Florida right now so you'll be seeing a work from Florida vlog soon but let's just get into this video for now. I don't need to think about it there's nothing in this world that we can't do flowers even mad about it Cause they can't blow like you don't I don't see a way around it Cause everything has led me straight to you It's nothing new Baby, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams I'm outside when it comes to living in LA there's lots of pros and a lots of cons and um, I could talk about each of them but that, that would be really boring so I'm gonna pick my favorite pros and my favorite cons or my biggest hated cons I guess and we'll just jump into those. my favorite favorite pro is that you're close to lots of different vibes when it comes to nature like there's the mountains there's the desert there's the beaches you can take a drive an hour east in the winter and you're in the snow you can take day trips to wine country in malibu and you know there's just lots of things around la that are super close by so if you get tired of what's happening in la you can take an hour day trip or two hour day trip out of LA and there's so many different things to do and explore. And then if you expand that to like a five hour, six hour road trip, you're close to San Francisco, Big Sur, all the national parks, but also the Grand Canyon, Zion, um, the Mojave Desert, Death Valley. There's so many things that are like within driving distance of LA. I grew up in Tampa, Florida. If you wanna get out of Florida, just to drive out and to Georgia is like a six hour drive, I believe. Having a lot of different things uh, close by and road trippable is really awesome because you can still explore in a very budget friendly manner. is generally most people that live here are super driven, super talented, and super inspiring. And it kind of pushes me to also be like that. That's really powerful because if your environment is pushing you, you're more willing to grow as well. I find it super motivating that everyone is super passionate, super driven, and is like working to make their dreams come true. Everyone is super health conscious, and I love that actually. I know that that can be a negative for some people, like having too much pressure on being skinny but I view it as more of like everyone is you know every it's on everyone's mind like everyone wants to make a more health conscious decision for lunch we all like to get outside and be active you'll meet lots of those types of people and it's really motivating for your own accountability I would say so it's around five on Thursday now and we're gonna go to Korean barbecue it's like a whole experience you order a bunch of meats you cook them all at the table usually or they cook it for you depending if the place is super fancy or not. Um, we're hitting up one of my favorite spots in K-Town called Juku Juku and yeah I'll take you guys along. Also for a little OOTD I'm wearing this white top, these cargo pants and these white kitten heels that you can't really see. <laughs> My biggest con is traffic and I know that's a cliche thing to complain about but it really is 
unbearable sometimes. Like the, no matter what you're doing, where you're going, if you're gonna be driving somewhere, you need to account for traffic because there's traffic pretty much at all times in LA. Like there'll be traffic on a random Tuesday at 2 p.m. You know, like who's out there and why are we like stop and go traffic? In addition to traffic itself, LA drivers are insanely aggressive and it just feels like everyone's on the go, but it's like, where are you trying to go? Um, like calm down, take a chill pill. <laughs> For it being a West Coast city, the drivers are not chill. So um, I hate driving and I hate traffic in LA. It's almost um, to the point where you get discouraged to do some things on the weekend because you'll need to like spend two hours maybe driving. You take the wrong way. And maybe you should stay instead of turning around. So there's so many people so that means getting reservations at certain restaurants will take forever and you're not able like they'll all get snatched up so let's say it's thursday and you decided that you wanted to go to brunch at a certain place on sunday more likely than not all the reservations for that brunch place are going to be sold out you're going to have to book two weeks in advance and like who's got that kind of foresight nowadays like obviously like i can do something about that so i could just plan earlier but you, know, you have plans on Sunday and like something falls through you're now free and you're trying to fill it up with plans you're very limited to like actually what you can do just because a lot of the experiences a lot of the events will already be sold out a lot of the places that don't have reservations just have insanely long lines or wait times there's just so many people in general and it really makes doing things a lot of different like i hate grocery shopping in la because there's so many people at all times it just makes the process so much more stressful and obviously that's a pro and a con there's lots of people to meet lots of people to hang out with That's gonna be it for this video. Also, I forgot to mention my siblings are under 21. So all the spots I showed you are very like family or like under 21 friendly. I didn't obviously take them to like my favorite barcade or like my favorite rooftop bar, different things like that just because my little brother is literally about to enter high school. So that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, watch out for another work week in my life vlog in Florida next week. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I know.